What's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Star Wars Thrifting. My name is Silver. I am just gonna share a couple of fun, cool Star Wars finds that I got over the weekend. I just went to the flea market and I did make a 35 minute trip to Redwood City to pick up a Facebook market find, which is probably one of my favorites. So can't wait to share. The most incredible thing um, I found this Clone Trooper 2008 helmet for $5. Um, I have not tested. I cleaned it out. I haven't tested to see if the battery works. I need to get on that. Um, but I mean, even if it doesn't, I just love this to display. Um, this is just so amazing. Um, I, I think it's like voice and voice changes. Again, I need to test it out, but honestly, I don't know. I'm just going to probably leave it out to display because it's just so cool. Look at that. It's a little beat up, um, as you can see right here. But again, if I just go and hang it somewhere, it just looks really cool. I love it. I love this helmet. Next up is probably the most confusing different find I've ever encountered at the flea market. And it's these Han Solo pants. Okay, check these out. These are not like you get them at like Spirit Halloween store. These are really nice. Quality is just absolutely amazing. Check this out. Okay, the pants are cool. I just took it apart right now. Um, to be honest, I don't know how to put it back. But the way, look at this. Oh my gosh, this is insane. Let's put the blaster. The belt, the iconic Han Solo belt. I got the pants, the belt for $10. Um, the quality of this belt is so insane. Um, the smell, it smells so like, it, it's insane. Um, again, this must have been someone's like actual, like someone put a thought into picking up this, this costume. Anyways. I love it. I got those two for ten dollars, and I think I felt like the person who previous owned like owns it probably only worn it like the one time. It's that in the theme of Han Solo. I found this really cool. This is a Zara Man shirt, and look at the artwork. I got this for a dollar. It's like in the dollar pile. So cool. This is Amer Empire. The Empire Strikes Back. Look at this art print. This is probably like, I've never seen anything like this before. It's so sick. Yeah, so that was a very, I found the pants and the belt and like 20 minutes later I found the shirt. I'm like, wow, this is, or the other way around. This is a very like, I'm just getting Han Solo vibes. Sometimes I'll go to the flea market and everything that I encounter, there's like a theme behind it, you know? Um, which is just how things work out sometimes. Let me just be real with you real quick. I am, you guys know I'm just a lover for prequels, anything. Like Gungans, of course. I was on Facebook Market and I was scrolling on Saturday. Saturday, actually Friday evening. I was scrolling, scrolling, and I found something about 35 minutes away from me, where I would say. And I said, are you joking me? I've never seen this figure. I've never seen this toy. Never seen it before in my life. Ever, ever. So I said, okay, message the person. Is this still available? Yes, I will head over there tomorrow morning, pick it up for $10. I am a simp in love with Captain Tarples, you guys know. Rue Tarples is just, for me, the ultimate Gungan um, who represents the Gungans, uh, who went up against General Grievous and valiantly sacrificed himself for the greater good. Just a all-around bombad Gungan. I didn't just not find his figure. I found this insane... <laughs> what is happening? Captain Tarples in a Cadu. Are you joking me? Look at the scale of this thing. $10. $10. The sweet woman 
had in her garage, she said, for years. And she's like, I'm just getting rid of it. Uh, you can let, I'm letting it go for $10. Um, yes, are you joking me? I swear that was my Saturday morning. I went, I trust me, if I can get that, if I could have knocked on her door at seven in the morning to pick it up to make sure I had it, I would have. But you know, I'm just trying to be chill um, and not seem come off as someone very desperate. Um, but whatever, I don't care. Uh, so yeah, I can't believe I own this thing. Are you guys joking me? Look at the scale. Look how giant it is. Honestly, I, this is just the most wildest thing I've ever seen. This is from Power of the Force 2000. Um, someone messaged me saying, I guess this was like 60 bucks when it came out. <laughs> um, it was like $60 at the store when it was out. But I would never have imagined that Captain Tarples would have a dope toy like this. Like what on earth? Just like a minor small character in the movie. It has this giant ass toy. Okay, I'm obviously gonna unbox this thing because as much as I think, oh, you know, something should be in the box and stuff like that, I'll do it, I'll open it like carefully. If I wanna put it back, I will. But I'm sorry, I need to see this in all its glory. I'm gonna unbox this thing. So that's gonna be my next video, everyone. Check this out. He's so handsome. I mean, can you even believe it? Power of the Force, do not sleep on these toys. They're so good. This is my thrift haul for the weekend. Let me know if there's something that you liked more. Um, I know those haunts, that Han Solo and that holster is definitely awesome, but I'm just sorry that Captain Tarples for me is just, woo, so good, so good. Um, but yeah, uh, check you guys out next time. Just wanna do a quick video. Bye.